We're ready to do this thing. What is this thing? It's called it's a good night for rocking south of the river. And it really is. Kind of name drop a few bands in here. So much for the interview. There's that much in the drum check. Somewhere your sound was suddenly right. was totally different for the chorus and the verse. Just grab something. Just grab something else that uh, will give you a whole different sound. I might be playing some Middle Eastern drum instead of a snare drum, or or a tambourine, or a garbage can lid. Just depending on what what gets us the sound that we're looking for, and and. It's a lot of fun for me, it's a, and it's a challenge. I carry oil pans, you know, drain pans for doing your, draining the oil out of your car. I carry bird feeders, salad bowls. Your drum sounds are really different than anything else that uh, people tend to use. That's primarily my own ineptitude and Rick Richards' apathy. Rick, he's just phenomenal. He's just such a great, great dream. I think Ringo likes him too, because Ringo likes the Snake Farm album, so therefore he got an endorsement from Ringo Starr that I like that record. And it's like a band, you know. You go to hear a band, you know, if, you can, if, if they got a good drummer, you'll love the band. They got a, they, you know, if they have horrible songs but a good drummer, you'll dig them. But if they have great songs and a bad drummer, you won't. So you know, I'm very. Uh, I think that's why. I, wait a minute. I think I just insulted myself, didn't I? <laughs> the reason you like my songs is because of the drums. <laughs> Maybe so. Just play a chorus for us. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, bands out here right now, and uh, and some of them aren't very good. And this, <laughs> but then some of them are. And uh, this is a song about a, a band that has it, that has the integrity of uh, of what they're doing. They're doing it because they have no other choice. You know, and um, it's an apple rock in the south of the river with a band that delivers. You know, and uh, so there are a lot of bands out there, and they don't deliver. And uh, I, mean, I guess I'm old enough now where I'm going to say whatever the hell I want to do about them. But uh, so I, I wrote that with the idea. Because there's a lot of young bands I really, really respect. And I name drop the Heathens and the Black Angels. I'm not above name dropping in albums as you, as you, or in songs as you probably know. With that thing up, I make sure it's bleeding. The tube's all warmed up, I got what to need. There's some risk. We came out to the chapel to uh, to record it. It's a great place to uh, make music. I mean, it's just because it's uh, there's something about it, you know. I mean, like, you know, music is a very spiritual thing, even if it's a greasy rock and roll thing. There's still some sort of uh, a creative spirit about it, so uh, it lends itself to, to make joyful or you know low down greasy noise in it. So that's what we're doing. Ray Wiley Hubbard has some of the best stories of anyone I know. Got some of the best songs of anyone I know. 
working with Ray is stress levels are just, you know, they just don't exist. If, it, if we're not having a good time, we just don't do it. And, and I really like that, you know. It's not work, it's, it's, it's art. He's like a dust bowl cowboy Buddhist that's been through all sorts of things and come out on top of it all and reinvented himself time and time again. And I just see this record as another, another one of those reinventions and I feel very lucky that I have the opportunity to help him with that. Raise my path, what else can I say? You get this sense of history and, and you get a sense of, you know, like I say, uh, gratitude, I suppose. I go in there and I'm very grateful to be recording in such a, a beautiful place and uh, with, you know, some great guys, great musicians. For me, it makes me a, hopefully a better musician and maybe a better person. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm reaching now.